Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I do my best to keep up on this channel. I really do. But I didn't start on YouTube. And I have so much respect for these YouTube readers. They are amazingly gifted. And they put so much effort and energy into their channels. Um, I'm doing my best. I would love to up my subs my subscriptions. Okay, that way I can go live. That's what I do on other platforms. Um, it's more time efficient. Okay, so I'm gonna do my best here to keep up on my channel. I just don't have the time to pre-record and upload. Um, I wish I did, but I'm I'm on other platforms. I have private readings. So a little bit about me in a nutshell, the way that I read, I am Kundalini Awakened. I work with the Kundalini energy. We all have it. I uh, use the chakra system to energetically tap into, um, to energetically tap into those that I work with telepathically through my clairsentience, which is my main clair, through clear feeling. I clairvoyantly, clairaudiently, claircognizantly connect. Um, I do so energetically and telepathically, as well as um, utilize my spirit team, which consists of my guide, my spirit ancestors, um, as well as the angelic realm. Okay, I bridge the gap between my spirit team as well as your spirit team, the galactic center, um, and so that's how I read, okay? Um, I feel as though nothing is predestined. You all have free will. These are mere suggestions, okay? Advice and guidance, do with it what you will, <laughs> okay? We all have self-will. Um, with that being said, Take what you need, leave the rest, may or may not resonate. Thank you for joining me. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, mid-May the 7th to end of May. Okay. Love. Love. I'll do a couple spreads um, for the sake of clarity, to clarify. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's see what we have here. By elements. That way, um, there are four elements, only four videos. Cut down on having to upload. Takes a lot of time. What's going on with fire? Do listen to your moon, your rising. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. All right, the overall energy, the Queen of Swords in the upright, um, meaning clarity, meaning um, communications, wanting the truth. All right. Could also be telepathically connecting, okay? Central energy is the ace of swords. So there, there is a double, double message here of, you know, wanting the truth, needing the truth, wanting clarity. It's a double edged sword. So again, that, that the telepathic connection with Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, with regard to again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius doesn't have to be, but the 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 message here of you know I know what I know, okay, and yet somehow I'm still not a hundred percent. Something is is amiss. So with this double-edged sword, okay, there's there's also this idea here of um, a choice needs to be made. Okay, it's the hands of God coming into. 
All right, so that's the central energy. Could be a third part. More, more swords. All mental activity. This is why I said this is telepathy. Okay, this is mental activity. So, you know, I'm getting three cards off the bat. All swords. So, what's crossing this, this central energy here? What crosses it either helps it or hinders it. So, the three of swords in reverse here is telling me there could have been a third party you know, activity. And, and again, the three of swords doesn't necessarily have to be cheating, although it could, um, doesn't have to be just this. And it's in the reverse position. So we're moving away from whatever hurt us in the past. Okay. So this could help it or hinder it. Um, but we want truth. We need a decision. There's something that needs to be made with regard to what we're letting go of. Okay, but we want some clarity over this. We want truth, justice of some sort. Okay, and it needs to be put to bed. Why? Because at the feet, at the foundation, someone was left out in the cold. I hate that, that cliche, left out in the cold. But it was a disaster, let's face it. Okay, it was hurtful. It was... um you know, this this is painful, too. The five of freaking pentacles sucks. This hurts. Excuse my vulgarity. Okay, but, and it's it wasn't just, look, you know, they're both of them. It's like the blind leading the blind. It's, this is the blind leading the blind. All right? This, you know, so that's, that's what's going on here. All right? So whatever third-party situation, both people were involved Two people are involved in this third party situation. The blinds leading the blinds. In the past, and more swords, okay, we, we took a time out. We took a time out from leaving each other out in the cold, okay? But we keep coming back to leaving each other out in the cold. We keep doing this over and over and over again, this, this cyclical cycle. Okay, we keep we keep making a decision to take a time out to leave each other out in the cold, but we keep doing it. Are we going to put an end to third party relationships? Are we going to put an end to coming back together again? Are we going to put an end to reuniting, to taking a time out, to having third party relationships? To leaving one out, one each other out in the cold. Are we gonna Are we gonna stop this already? We th this is the decision we need to make. This is the truth and the clarity we need to. Are we going to be victorious over the situation? Is our relationship going to move forward? Someone feels. I feel like both partners or even the third party feels. Like, they are one-upping one another here. This is like... One or both parties made a decision. They keep making it. This is like a, this is like a, sick, a sick cycle. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I'm feeling here. All right. Um, heavily. All right. Aries, Leo, and Sag. You know? Um, messages aren't coming through, all right? The arrows of love aren't happening. So you're, you're taking a break at this point, rightfully so, in order to gain the clarity needed between the pair of you, okay? Or the three of you. <laughs> um, you could be dealing, there could be an external, uh, certainly, you know, of course there, there could be a, an earth element involved here or a water element involved here someone could be married he could be dealing with with marital partners here yet the fear and or hope could be that you're separated for good you're not going to come back together again or you're separated at this point so you could you know You're going to come back together again. 
there will be a message. Excuse the lighting, too. The, the sun started to set. So there is going to be a message here. The overall energy is, you know, the Queen of Swords, and the central energy is the Ace of Swords. So there is going to be a message here of how this is all going to pan out. Somebody is in the process of making a decision as it relates to this, what seems to be a love triangle. And if not a love triangle, how do we resolve this, this issue of this cycle where we keep coming back together again, over and over and over again? So I would like to clarify the page of pentacles, please, the outcome. Because right now, I mean, with the, with the Nine of Cups, I mean, this is overindulgence. It, it seems as though, you know, this, this relationship, you, you two overindulge with one another. It's as though you enjoy. So patience, temperance, the Two of Cups. You two seem to enjoy the cycle. But it's emotionally draining. Whoever this resonates. Let's see. Leo, Aries, Sag. Let's look at you. Real quick. Ah. Leo, Aries, and Sag. Leo, Aries, and Sag. Leo, Aries, and Sag. You're recognizing what you haven't seen before. You're part of the problem. You're the, you know, just because someone knocks at the door doesn't mean you have to answer it. Um, you know, so it, you, this is you. This is your energy. Okay? Fire signs. You're not bound to the situation. You could take yourself out of the situation any given moment. Your partner. <laughs> Gemini card. Your partner recognizes that they have a choice. Okay? You have a choice. They have a choice. Gemini card. What's the presence condition? They come and go. Could be a lustful situation. Could you very well, this could be your energy. This could be their energy. Like attracts like. It's a fire energy. But like attracts like. So again, how, you know, your energy is mirroring their energy. You have a choice to unbound yourself here. You're recognizing that because it's in the reverse. They have a choice. The lover's card is the choice card. The lover's card could also be a third party card. You recognize you have a choice. They recognize they have a choice. The present condition comes and goes and comes and goes. So, you can choose to open the door. They can choose. With the lover's card is the choice card. The present condition is coming and going and coming and going. It mirrors the first spread so far. So looking ahead, what's coming in?
the high priestess. Now, when I say high priestess, it's major arcana, for one, so it's something that we can't necessarily... It, uh, major arcana, we don't really have as much control over. Secrets. The two pillars, two to me, choices. Again, we have a choice here. Fire signs, you have a choice. That's the one thing when I said, you know, nothing's predestined, we have free will. We have choices. Hence the reason you go to a spiritual advisor and you seek guidance so you can be prepared and proactive. Nothing is set in stone. You are the master of your own destiny. What's coming in? She's the two. The two. The shadow and the light. Okay. The light of the moon. She she hides her secrets. She's very wise. But she knows. Fire signs. You know what's coming in. You have a choice. You know. You know what's coming in. This is your present condition and you know it. You know what's coming in. You have a choice. What's the heart of the matter? Fire signs. As though fire signs don't know what the heart of the matter is. Tell a Leo, he or she doesn't know what the heart of the matter is. Leo rules the heart. Come on now. Leos are ruled by the sun. Tell a Leo they don't know what the heart of the matter is. There's an imbalance here. Now, this could be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. However, it could also be mirroring your partner's energy. That's the heart of the matter. In reverse. Well, that's the present condition. That's the heart of the matter. Zero to six months short term. What's going on? Very cyclical. Very. It's a cycle that needs to end. Secrets are going to come to the forefront, though. Something is definitely coming out here. So we get the Queen of Cups. There will be emotional stability, and I, I feel it's going to be directly connected to um, what's coming with this High Priestess. Whatever secrets are coming in, and 6 to 12 months you get your own card, if, if you're a Leo, Strength. You will have fire signs emotional stability in zero to six months, and you will tame this beast in six to 12 months with the strength card in relationship to the choices that you make with regard to the secrets that come out. And it's directly related to the outcome with the messages with that page of pentacles. Something will be revealed in this relationship, fire signs, for those of you that are struggling, whether you're committed or single, whether you're dealing with a, an air sign or not, with whomever you're dealing with. For those that are, are struggling in some sort of cycle, for those of you that, that are in need of clarity right now and truth, and are in the process of making a decision because that's what this reading is all about right now. There is some secret or some missing piece that is going to, to surface. Hence the reason 
fire signs are either in the reverse position right now or their partner is in the reverse position right now. Because there's some missing piece that is yet to surface. Hence the reason this cycle has been going on and on and on and on. And either you or your partner has felt left out in the cold. And you, you keep coming back to the same place. Doing either a 180 and then switching it up and doing a 360. And feeling like you can't come up for air. Yet, decisions are in the process of being made. And this is divine, too. And you will have emotional stability, and it will bring you strength and peace and serenity. And choices are, choices are being made. With that being said, you know, I'm not going to clarify any, any more with, with these cards. I'm just going to pull an oracle. Okay, because I'm going on 21 minutes here. And I, I'm going to stop. And I'm going to pull an angel oracle. So, love yourself, fire signs. You can't love anybody else unless you love yourself, right? L M N O P Q R S T U V. I always have to go through the alphabet when I'm looking at things in the book. Um, yeah, you know, I go back to the purpose of why there is a disconnect right now for those for those of you that are currently disconnected and um taking taking a um a reprieve from the person that you're you're not speaking with for, for those that resonate is that you need to focus energetically on yourself right now okay because there are there are things that are going to come to the surface okay for, for those that resonate with that message, you need to take this time for yourself. All right, that's um, the preface of that message. Partnership. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Partnership is a gift. Indicating that a partnership of some sort is at hand in love relationships, in business, partnering of every kind. Do not collapse yourself into the union. For true partnership, and here we go, is achieved only by separate and whole beings who retain their separateness even as they unite. Remember to let the winds of heaven dance between you. You're being called to consider another aspect of partnership. The realization of a greater union, the union with your higher self and the union with the divine. 
the divine in all things that God always enters into equal partnerships. And I did say that this is a divine intervention right now. What's going on in this cycle and, and the reason why you need to kind of take a step back. The gift of freedom flows into all other gifts. Right now, um, there's this sense of things coming to the surface. And the only way that things are going to come to the surface to bring this, this clarity that is necessary, this, um, for, for choices to be made, this, this necessity for truth and, and higher understanding is, is separation. And, and through that separation is the need to come into oneself, whoever that resonates for. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, mid-month, May 7th to the end of May. I shall hopefully, if I can put forth the time and effort, continue with this channel. I thank you so much. Please do like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. I wish everyone luminous love, light, blessings, peace, abundance, joy. Catch you on the flip. See you soon. Thanks. Bye.